Namaste. This is an interactive online session for the course on NPTEL titled Computer Methods of Analysis of Offshore Structures. This course has been offered by NPTEL IIT Madras by me, Professor Chandrasekhar. I am with Department of Ocean Engineering in IIT Madras. I want to share a few thoughts of originating the course content of this specific course and its applications, usefulness to offshore structures in specific and to structural engineering in general. I welcome you to join online for the discussion and post your views to me as you join me during this interactive session. Before we start the formal discussion in this forum, I want to sincerely thank the NPTEL staff, IIT Madras administration, to be specific with Professor Kamakoti, the director of IIT Madras, and also the program leader, implementation chairman of NPTEL program, the former director, Professor Bhaskar Ramamurthy, the dean of courses, academic courses, Professor Pratap Haridas, then the chairman of Center for Continuing Education, which is now as CODE Code, Professor Jalihal, Professor K. Ramamurthy, all my friends in Department of Civil Engineering, Ocean Engineering at IIT Madras, and some of my teachers who taught me this course when I was doing undergraduate and postgraduates in Bharatiya University. And to be very specific, Professor Ashok Gupta, IIT Delhi, and Professor Arvind Kumar Jain, IIT Delhi, and Professor TK Datta, IIT Delhi. So I want to thank them for imposing a good amount of knowledge and understanding in me as far as this course is concerned. When you talk about computer-aided analysis of structures in general, structural analysis is a core course in many of the engineering disciplines. Name a few, civil engineering, undergraduate and postgraduate, aerospace engineering, applied mechanics, even mechanical engineering, metallurgical engineering, etc. You will find the analysis of course of structures is a common course which is being taught in almost all universities in India as well as in abroad. Welcome to all the friends who have joined online. Pradipa, Muttu Silva Kumar, Patil, Tennavan, Vishnu, Ajay Kumar, Ziyomi, Tutu, 1013161. Welcome to all of you to share your views and open discussion on this forum. I am just highlighting the important points of developing this course content. When we talk about structural analysis, we start with fundamentals of analysis first. Then we proceed further to deal with advanced structural analysis, where the problems are generally solved using hand calculations. And we extend this with modern tools such as finite element analysis where the problem formulation is done from the fundamentals of structural mechanics. And because of paucity of solving large size problems, we limit our solution procedures to small size problems. To be very specific, when you talk about matrix methods of structural analysis, when we talk about stiffness method in general, you will notice that the size of the matrix developed will be limited to maximum 3 by 3 because beyond that, 
inverting, multiplying and performing operations on matrix within the class duration will become difficult. And most of the cases, we leave the problem only with the formulation but not attempting the complete solution because of paucity of time. This has been a common problem which is bothering many students, faculty, researchers, colleagues, etc. When I also learned structural analysis about 30 years back, in those days MATLAB program was not launched, it was not very popular. I was taught with Fortran programming on structural analysis. So it is not computer aided, but program supported. So I found it very difficult to write a code on Fortran, then solve the problem. Or writing even a matrix program in code for a Fortran language was found to be very, very difficult for me at that time. The code, number of lines of writing a code would have been very difficult, very long programs. You have to write separate subroutines to execute the program. And there were a lot of constraints. I would first to learn the Fortran programming, then learn analysis, then you learn integration of these two, then successfully solve a simple problem. This was a big issue about 30 years back when I studied structural analysis, 35 years back, in about 87. So 13 plus 23, around 39 years, 40 years back. <clears throat> this was modernized when I came to my postgraduate level in about 92, about 31 years back. Photon programming again was the tool to solve the problem. Thanks to Professor Ashok Gupta, I did Delhi. To some extent, the knowledge was imposed on me. The usefulness of computer tools to large, to solve large size problems on analysis. However, the problem was not addressed completely even at that mind within myself. Then I start using MATLAB as a tool for my advanced research in postdoc and PhD, etc. Then I learned that MATLAB is a very, very soft and very useful friendly tool. Started using it intensively. Now I made it compulsory friends that structural analysis in second year itself, second year undergraduate level itself is intensively taught in our institution by me using MATLAB. The purpose is not to impose MATLAB as a tool, but use MATLAB as a computational facility to solve large size problems in a short span of time with accuracy and speed. So the difficulty what I had faced was writing a Fortran code to solve the problem. I eliminated the difficulty by preparing the code in MATLAB myself with my research scholars team, gave the code to the class students and asked them only to run the code on MATLAB platform. Thanks to MATLAB Incorporation for permitting use license of MATLAB for all Impital users and also permitting me to use MATLAB intensively in the textbook titled Computed Analysis of Offshore Structures. So the coding was available. So the teaching was focused on handling problems practically of any size because solution is no more an issue. So this enhanced and made students to think weird to solve any size of problem because the tool or the solution tool <clears throat> is readily available. So the accuracy, the speed, the fascination and interest in learning computer-aided analysis was initiated by me. And I am proud to say for the past 27 years, I have been doing this. So this course, which was developed in 2017 or 16, is now running for the past eight cycles and has benefited more than one lakh students and participants, faculty, researchers in India and all over the world. I have received a lot of email exchanges 
from foreign students and faculty that this course was very useful and they have been started implementing this teaching in their institutions respectively. So now, the problem what I faced during my class days, school days or college days, have been eliminated by making you feel comfortable to use MATLAB as a tool, not as a programming burden to learn the programming and then solve the problem, but use it as a tool to solve very complicated problems within a short span of time with a thorough level of understanding the analysis. Because design follows analysis and analysis is being taught now in India as well as in abroad, in many universities using MATLAB as an effective tool for teaching this course. So that was the <clears throat> short story, how this course was given birth. So this course was planned in such a manner that it gets along with the MATLAB in parallel. And all problems which are solvable by hand are also solved by using MATLAB to check and validate. And problems of larger size which cannot be solved by hand is also solved by MATLAB following the same algorithm and basics so that people never get confused in solving any order of the problem because the basics remain same. Tutorials are also developed to encourage participants to use MATLAB without which the tutorials cannot be solved. So you are compelled partially to use MATLAB and the programs required to solve these problems are available to all the participants on hand with reference to my textbook cited in this particular website of the course of NPTEL IIT Madras. IIT Madras also allows students to come for a short visit, to visit the library, to visit the computational laboratories at IIT Madras with the vision to spread the capacity building of learning this course wide along and across the country, not only within India, but also internationally. That being one of the mission of Ministry of Education through NPTEL IIT Madras, our Professor Director Kamakoti and Professor Bhaskar Ramamurthy were leaders in implementing this idea of creating a very user, economic friendly, free platform of high end learning to all deserving people all over the world. So you have been benefited, will be benefited by solving or using this particular platform on this course and learn. And I am sure you will transform this to your friends, students, colleagues, researchers, etc., and industrial practicing engineers, so that this use of MATLAB on computer aided analysis becomes a very common methodology of doing computer analysis of structures, which is supposed to be a very difficult course when taught in undergraduate level, even in postgraduate level in most of the universities in India and abroad. So thanks to all my teachers, to my colleagues who have been teaching this course for many number of years. And I borrowed all my ideas and my implementing examples from their thought process. So I thank all of them directly and indirectly who helped me learn this course. I'll show you a very small presentation how this course was very interactive and useful and what you can do with this course. Stay for a minute, I'll just share my screen. I'll show you a very quick presentation. Friends, I am hoping that you're able to see your presentation on the screen. Can anyone confirm this? Yes, sir, visible. Okay. So Advanced Structural Analysis with MATLAB is one of the very interesting textbook authored by me, which is useful for 
all the beginners and advanced learners of this course. The next book is an advanced marine structures, which help you to learn the fundamental behavior or offshore structures, which are otherwise very difficult to learn in the level of understanding given with the textbooks limited. There's a book again written by me for CRC Press, which is in open domain for the past 15 years. So this is a very interesting book which helps you to learn fundamentals of marine structures in general, which also deals with basic understanding of analysis of offshore structures. Of course, advanced steel design, which follows the procedure after analysis with steel as a material, it's a very interesting book, which is co-authored by a couple of friends' input and authored by me and steel design, which helps you to understand steel design in general and design procedures to offshore structures in particular for heavy industrial structures. Of course, when you talk about fire resistant design, which is one of the very important area with limited resource available for learning, myself and Gaurav proposed this book and now available in stands for the past 12 years given by Springer to the open domain, which also has a lot of MATLAB codes to do design of offshore structures under fire loading. Offshore semi-submersible engineering is a very interesting area of analysis and design, which is highly complicated by itself because of the behavioral aspects of semi-submersibles. So a book is also produced, which has got a lot of MATLAB codes, which help you to directly look into the application of MATLAB on advanced design features like semi-submersible platforms. So friends, the offshore engineering course, I would say, and applied to computer analysis in offshore structures, though the course has basic information, but application of these are all common to very advanced level courses, which are cited in these textbooks. I will request the viewers and listeners and participants and friends to look into these books Follow these books if you find them useful. Recommend them to all your friends so that you use MATLAB as a very comfortable tool for analysis. Furthermore, I'll also show you some interesting videos which are made after understanding the concept of new kinds of platforms which are all useful using MATLAB analysis. Give me a minute. I'll share the screen, just a moment. Now I'm sharing a video which has been originated after understanding of this model. This video is developed for a new generation platform for which the conversion analysis is not available in the literature. Even leading software cannot easily model the concept of this analysis from the first principles. So it's a very interesting kind of platform which shows the platform analysis and design for new generation for ultra deep waters, which is a classical invention and research development in recent past, which is called Triceratops. Furthermore,
Friends, are you able to see the video on the screen? No, sir. No, sir. No. No. Okay. One moment. Now? Yes, sir. So this is a very interesting video which helps you to understand how to develop a stiffness matrix with imposing a constraint on a specific degree of freedom. This is an animation which helps you to learn the forces developed when one degree of freedom is imposed, keeping all other degrees of freedom restrained, which is a fundamental observation which is useful in developing a stiffness matrix. So this is actually a pitch motion of a platform which shows this, okay? I'll also show you one interesting video. which is coming out as a study what we recently did is a wave energy device designed and developed and patented at IIT Madras. We are proud to say that this is one of the successful wave energy device which has been developed and now in technology transfer to the industry both in India as well as in abroad. So the concept was developed in-house at IIT Madras in the Department of Ocean Engineering by me and my researcher. The analysis was done using MATLAB, Simulink tool which is an advanced tool in MATLAB. The model was prepared, tested in Wave Basin at IIT Madras. So the concept was conceived using the fundamental procedures developed using this course on computer methods of structural analysis, which you can see the video here. You can see the motion of the body at the center surrounded by four floats which are yellow in color. The central motion part is a cylindrical body which is in blue color. These four motion floats around the body keep on oscillating and that transfers the energy to the central vertical cylinder and that harnesses heave energy and that is converted to wave energy. You can show and you can see that when the yellow floats oscillate, the blue float also heaves in the vertical direction and that heave motion is converted through a piston arrangement, which I'll show you in the next video, to convert this linear motion to oscillatory and translatory to develop power in a generator. So the idea was conceived by following the MATLAB principles and analysis was done using Simulink, which is the coding was written using MATLAB and analysis was done in the same principles which has been taught in this course. So this course is useful not only for basic learners, but also for advanced research as you see on the screen. Give me a minute, I'll show you the piston arrangement which has been done to use to draw the power from this. Hope you are able to see the screen at this moment. You can see there's a piston cylinder arrangement at the bottom, which is connected to all the walls using these black tubes, which are hydraulic cylinders. Each float is connected to two wires, 
So there are four floats, there are eight wires, which are tubes, which supply oil based upon the pressure generated by the movement of these floats. This central arrangement is connected to the vertical cylinder, which is on the heave motion now. So the heave motion is now converted to a translatory motion, which is then converted to rotary motion, and you can see how it is being done. You can see the blue motion on the right side, that's a cylinder which is in the largest size you see on the screen. When that heaves, that heave motion is now converted to translatory, which is subsequently converted to rotary and connected to generator. You can see the piston, how it's moving smoothly to convert the heave motion to rotary motion, which is useful for generating power. So you can also see, depending upon the speed, how does it stop and how does it oscillate. So friends, all these examples illustrate one basic concept that structural analysis is no more a conventional course to be taught in the class for solving only problems. Analysis using MATLAB can be used as a very advanced tool to conduct advanced research as well. So these examples and videos illustrate this, which I want you to really understand. So now I will also ask the feeling and the feedback of learning this course online and also teaching this course at respective places in different parts of the country by my friends who have joined at this moment. So we, I mean, they can volunteer themselves, raise their hand and talk for a few minutes so that for about five minutes so that we can hear the responses and the reactions, what they have gained and experienced by learning this particular course through NPTEL. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, yes sir. Uh, as we all know, this basic structural analysis and advanced structural analysis, both are very important uh, courses in undergraduate because uh, not only in undergraduate, I also in uh, postgraduate. And personally, when I uh, learned these two courses for the first time in uh, uh, UG, I understood little. And when I started following these, these uh, NPTEL courses and when I attended offline courses, I started gaining confidence. And when I started my teaching uh, career after my post graduation, I was assigned with teaching uh, responsibility uh, uh, and parallel research was also going on. And I was assigned with consultancy works. And especially in consultancy projects, uh, what difficulty we were facing, we were given uh, existing designs and we were asked to proof check the designs and when we when it comes to proof checking uh, we faced lack of uh, ready model available lack of report lack of drawings and we were asked to calculate member forces manually considering one particular member from a 3d building whether it is onshore building onshore structure or offshore structure we have to extract one member and we have to find out member forces then we have to ensure the adequate section is provided or reinforcement is provided and when i started understanding the key concepts using this course, I really gained the confidence and I proceeded and I could ensure my accuracy of the results uh, in checking the existing design, in uh, designing the new, de uh, new design and in uh, especially when it comes to uh, finding uh, the uh, member forces of existing buildings to, to, uh, to find out its health whether it is in good condition in order to find uh, whether it is suitable for renovation uh, future renovation so and the course provided uh, with this course also helped me to cross check my results i first solved manually using the key concepts then uh, using the codes i uh, cross checked and when they are accurate then i uh, my report i i was having confidence in uh, in my report which i was submitting in the end and uh, also it gained me knowledge it boosted my confidence i was uh, really happy after 
understanding the concepts using this course and uh, further i applied i started applying key concepts in my research also and my teaching skills have been improved a lot and i suggested my students to use this course uh, uh, i mean attend this course learn the concepts and proceed in their uh, career and very good course and much needed course and every, without these two courses we are not called as uh, structural engineers mm -hmm. uh, that is for sure that is for sure thank you uh, thank you mr patel but i have a question specifically to you yes uh, in the recent times yes. students have been inclined to use advanced software tools without naming the software yes. they have been using it for analysis and design in the present context, which are time-tested software, which are very popular amongst the consultancy offices and schools and I mean engineering schools, how using MATLAB will be an alternate solution for learning this course? Yes, sir. Uh, when, when we use MATLAB, uh, when we use MATLAB is when we write our own code. When we write our code, own code, to write our own code, we have to understand the key concept. Then only we can write our own code because already if we use already existing software, whatever wrong input we give, software will give the output and we can't rely on those uh, results. And if we use our own MATLAB code, which are written by our understanding, then we will be sure about the results. Then compared to, I mean, depending on the already existing commercial softwares, if we use MATLAB, and we, uh, it will save the time also and uh, we are we will be not having any doubt on our results good okay so adding to what mr patil said this course content on 3d analysis is really a very good additional value friends 3d analysis uh, learning and practicing and writing a code on matlab and solving it i tell you it's really a boon it's really a boon Otherwise, 3D analysis has got to be only learned using a software where you give a black box input and get a black box output. I'm telling you, this is a very interesting uh, advantage that this contents also have a 3D analysis part where the MATLAB codes are available for 3D analysis and makes you to learn things much better. Yes, thanks, Mr. Patel, for adding your value. Uh, now we listen to some other friends. Yes, go ahead. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, Pradeepa, go ahead. Pradeepa, you have to un unmute, yeah. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to everyone. So, uh, first, I wanted to say a few uh, um, words about uh, general NPTEL courses, how uh, it helped me and uh, it is helping everyone. So, it has a wide range of courses. I mean, from my uh, UG, uh, I haven't uh, studied in a very good college. <laughs> like uh, I studied in a private college only. Uh, but uh, from the earlier days, uh, I have been following NPTEL because it has a wide range of courses and the content delivered is uh, of very good quality. And there, uh, like from uh, our own place, we can get the knowledge of uh, all the IIT professors who has a very good uh, knowledge and experience in the uh, domain. And uh, what I find very interesting is uh, uh, the self-paced learning. I can, anytime I can uh, see the videos and uh, practice and I can learn in my very own comfortable zone. So without uh, going anywhere, I can just uh, learn the quality content and it is of free use. So that uh, got, that got me very, uh, very much interested in uh, learning through NPTEL. And I have been using it for a quite long time. And particularly this course, this uh, computer methods of structural analysis. Uh, honestly, sir, when I studied structural analysis back then, we were never touched what is matrix methods in structural analysis, the conventional, uh, all the uh, things like uh, the slope deflection and uh, moment distribution method, all those things were okay. Uh, you have to give me just a minute, I'll connect the power when my laptop is going down. Just give me a minute, I'll connect the power, come back. Yes.
Sorry for the interruption. Please go ahead. Continue. Sorry. Yes, sir. So the use of matrix methods in uh, calculating and estimating the forces and reactions uh, in structural analysis is been very insightful for me. I can say that, and uh, it has enhanced my understanding of structural analysis and also how to solve a problem. Like our friend uh, Patil mentioned, uh, I have a already existing structure, but I don't know any. Uh, uh, design concepts of how the design has been developed but now i have to assess it so how to approach the problem that problem solving skill i have learned only because when i used matrix methods so this hands-on experiment with matrix methods and also with a tool matlab uh, which enhances my uh, cal cal computational speed so this made the learning process very engaging, very, very interactive. It's like I can think in terms of the problem. I can only write the code and I just uh, run and get the uh, uh, it results. So whatever results I, I get, I have an insight of what is going on there, what is wrong there, something like that. So the use of MATLAB with the uh, uh, complex uh, problems uh, um, formulations it was like a, a game changer for me so it allowed me to really see visualize and understand what what is the, actually the calculation what is it doing and uh, i can get the uh, feedback the results very faster very much faster because of the speed speed so uh, i i learned to reduce the mistakes over time so overall, I can say that uh, this matrix methods and uh, together with uh, MATLAB calculation is uh, uh, significantly enhanced my understanding of structural analysis, which ha I haven't got when uh, I was uh, there, there learning the course when I was doing uh, my uh, physical course. But uh, after all the time, I get a new perspective of this uh, structural analysis. Okay, this is matrix methods. This is how I can approach a problem all. So it has opened a new dimension uh, to approach this all uh, problem. And uh, uh, it is like, uh, uh, this is an value add addition for me. So it is uh, cubed me with a skill that I can say that confidently I will be able to uh, solve a pro structural problem like that. So it has been a very helpful to me personally when I learned this course. That's Great, it. thank you. Uh, okay, we'll now request other friends who are keen to participate. Please give your views. Yes, Muktu, go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I'm attending this course for the sixth time. Three times in yeah. okay. Three, three times in okay. offering classrooms. This course has helped me to solve complex problem in a simple manner with the help of our meta codes, especially for 3D analysis problems. And that is a very totally new and innovative. We can solve the problem without any numerical software like StartBro or any other analysis tool. With the help of our meta codes, we can get up to four digit four decimal accuracy. We can solve the problems. It will help to industrial people as well as uh, students also. With the help of MATLAB codes, I can solve the difficult structure problems within a few minutes. For example, uh, for hand calculation, it will take 40 to 50 minutes. But uh, with the help of our MATLAB codes, we can solve within two to three minutes. Uh, we can get uh, the entire uh, results of the problems. This course lectures make it easy to understand complex problem into a uh, uh, simple manner. Our advanced structural analysis with MATLAB book helped me to get all MATLAB codes. With the help of your codes, I can. It, it is useful for uh, research also, for structural people, as well as uh, material perspective also, we can put uh, material inputs, we can get uh, put uh, uh, accuracy with the help of our uh, metal inputs. For uh, linear analysis and then other frame structure analysis is very interesting topic. For week one to six, uh, in, uh, in various topics covered in structural analysis problem. But similarly, in week six to 12 also, it is covered different types of offshore structure and then dynamic analysis part, new generation of offshore platforms for random process, ergodic process, response spectrum, and then different fatigue analysis are various offshore structures. That is very interesting and fascinating topic, sir. This course is very interesting and very useful for students as well as industrial people. With the help of metal codes, with, without any numerical rules, we can get accumulate the good results within shortest possible time. 
thanks for this wonderful hey, course sir uh, again the experience is very good and uh, we yes. value that we thank you very much and uh, i mean uh, for the opportunity given by npetel and iit madras i am thankful and if the benefit passes on to the larger audience it is good okay uh, others uh, anybody else i mean they want to share please go ahead uh, good afternoon good sir good afternoon good yeah. afternoon to all uh, yeah ajay go ahead uh, so i think that uh, every uh, students have uh, some kind of fear uh, when it comes to the structural analysis because uh, Uh, it involve in, involves so many uh, I mean, say conceptual things. Also, all uh, again with the uh, basic understandings, also have uh, some uh, kind of uh, rigorous practices uh, and to get into that. So, but uh, so that uh, naturally the in uh, undergraduate uh, times, all the students may be skip. Uh, most of the students they try to skip and just they do some problems for sake of exam only that's why most of the students they are not very much cleared about this structural analysis but i am I mean, met whoever the most of the student i met they have this kind of problem but uh, when some kind of uh, gate exam or uh, this kind of uh, some competitive or when it is they feel required like uh, um, some um, like patil sir said that whenever somebody some goes for a consultancy work or some engineering um, uh, site uh, in uh, or design work then only uh, they uh, they are the came to mind okay we have to uh, more get more clear idea about this uh, structural analysis then they have to find so many ways like taking help of so many uh, with uh, experience uh, uh, friends or uh, they have take some uh, uh, they try to do some uh, that kind that time only they go for this nptel kind of uh, courses so, so rigorously but uh, i suggest that okay if he somebody from very beginning practice this then uh, then it will become very uh, easier for him so that uh, uh he will not uh, trouble that much he will not trace at that time when it, whenever it is needed regarding this course i will tell this is a very nice attempt uh, made by our professor or also this nptel and they uh, make it, it happen so that uh, with the, in their comfort zone they can able um, make it uh, more uh, clarity with the help of this uh, matlab uh, Uh, so that uh, whatever the complexity they whatever the fearness they have they can easily come out oh, and they can uh, very confident about uh, to solving some real life structure that's why this is the very needed uh, this time on this is the time that we needed to do some analysis kind of this thing numerical analysis with help of matlab so that we can no that what happen in the in that uh, structure why the why so i get some error or what is the lacuna in that structure why it is not behavior properly uh, so it is a better if we understand uh, each and every parts priority deflect like or priority have that kind of behavior then with this of uh, if we do it by one this help of matlab and at over the procedure given matrix method then it will be most uh, helpful and we can become more confident about that okay thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah tanaman want to say something i think it was okay please go ahead uh, yes uh, good evening sir uh, good evening uh, first of all i thank to professor and the npt npt team to opportunity to deliver this valuable feedbacks so uh, about a course content it is very very useful to uh, uh, learn the topics and that and all but uh, i am from the basic btech civil first time i am learn this course uh, i seen the uh, course content uh, the course content is specifically designed for uh, practically uh, how that engineers will apply based on that uh, professor will uh, uh, professor will design that course content first time i saw that course content first the step by step the continuous beams beams frames and that uh, 3d structures 
on the three is uh, in that my uh, when i was studying uh, there is no 3d structures point of touch it in that course content first time i saw i more more curious that how the 3d structures will transformation into matrix how it will be solved uh, i was looking that is very and eagerly want to learn from that professors in that classroom mode uh, first time i was thinking that uh, sir uh, teach uh, sir teachers in the blackboard each step by step how that transformation will happens and uh, with uh, how the matrix inputs we have to given and how to get that final result everything will be explained in, in by step by step which is very useful to me understand that complex structures from my research oriented i am working in that offshore top site platforms most of the structures will be uh, complex in nature uh, but the, the 3d forms uh, i will be implemented into that uh, solved within uh, within hour or within a minute i will be able to solve that uh, structures uh, in, in additionally i am working in the new part of uh, materials like a functionally graded materials how that material properties also influences in that complex structures that also very useful for my research work sir uh, i concluded that this course taught me very very useful information to in my research part and in future in post of works that and also so i am okay. thankful to you sir very interesting course and the student uh, i request to participant and student don't miss the tutorials uh, the tutorials are specially designed for learning purpose only uh, sir designed the problems based on the field what the engineers and uh, they are working in the field structure the that will be replicated in the tutorials so that's it sir. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Uh, okay, one more, uh, Mr. Vishnu is there online? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Oh, yeah. I am very thankful to you, sir, for teaching this course. Uh, very useful content, sir. And I feel it's a very advanced thing to students. Up to structure analysis part, it's okay. But after that, as I am new to ocean engineering, it's a very high level. Uh, Uh, concepts behind the, the form and the solving methods also uh, i uh, i think i need to take this course again to understand all the mm -hmm. concepts sir uh, thank you sir thank you very much for, for offering this course thank you sir thank you very much my great sir pleasure uh, iit madras strongly believes in capacity building and uh, uh, our director has got a very interesting mission and vision of transferring knowledge to every citizen of this country as far as and as maximum as possible with the resources available under the government of india so uh, i mean we are just helping him as a small tool to fulfill and achieve his mission and dream so i am i'm personally thankful to all of you for joining this particular interactive session and give your feedback truly and i would my final appeal to all of the participants and future participants is please promote this course uh, help encourage your students and class fellows uh, to use matlab as a tool for solving analysis though they can also verify the same problem using uh, good software okay one more has joined uh, shaiba has joined shaiba want to say something yes please go ahead Sahib, are you connected? Okay. Hello, sir. Yes, yes. Please go ahead. Yes. Ah, yes, sir. Actually, I am in train, so my voice may be not clear. Actually, I have attended this course, and uh, not all the videos I have watched. I have uh, watched few videos only because whichever was useful for me and whichever had I had confusion, I watched the videos. and it is very uh, very much beneficial for me and uh, because when we teach the subject uh, we'll have more uh, doubts because the students will be asking many more questions so uh, for a very good reference uh, this course was very much uh, useful sir okay thank you very much so thank may you, appeal thank you. Yeah, may appeal to all of you is please encourage your students in a class research core researchers and fellow researchers to use matlab as a tool for solving analysis yes, problems you emphasize on uh, 3d analysis and uh, also learn the advanced application of analysis 
this on research level for offshore structures. IIT Madras in general and ocean engineering department in specific encourages people to go come for summer internship training and uh, research assistantship training. Uh, you can write to the head of the department, write to me in ocean engineering department. We are always here to help you out. We have got a very state of art national facility where experiments can be conducted and demonstrated. Consulting industries like uh, LNT, uh, ECC, GAIN, GAIL, Steel Authority of India, I mean, uh, lot of uh, ONGC. Uh, I appeal to all of these uh, colleagues in these industries, leaders, to encourage their uh, fellow engineers to visit our department, write to me, consult me, so that the capacity building can be launched. So that the understanding uh, arena of computer analysis using MATLAB as a tool is made as simple and as popular as possible so that every engineer is very comfortably using this and the thought process goes a leap forward in classrooms. Instead of solving a very small problem, let us solve the most difficult problem in the class within a given space of time with a very good level of understanding. And I also request you to uh, refer to my books and uh, encourage them to use in your libraries uh, because books are written only with a noble cause of uh, disseminating knowledge to as maximum persons as possible. So my appeal to all of you is that, to have, recommend these to your library and start using them. And uh, as uh, many of them also pointed out, you can also repeat this course with subsequent registrations in the coming semesters. I'm requesting NBTEL again to re-offer this course every alternate cycle so that large volume of people will get repetitive on this and they get thoroughly understanding. Because as you also heard, in single shot, you will not be able to understand this. Though the repository videos are available in NBTEL, but still attending tutorials and taking an exam and fulfilling the requirements academically is a very interesting exciting exercise. So it's not downloading video and seeing the video again. Be in the virtual class with international and national students, participate amongst yourself, get a relative grading and check where do you stand. So that experience will make you to update your knowledge. So that's the appeal what I want to make at this moment to this platform. So I am thankful to all my colleagues, uh, my head, Professor Nalayarasu, then my colleagues, Professor Murali, Professor Sana Siraj, Professor Rajiv, Professor Bhattacharya, then in civil department, Professor Mahir Prasad, Professor Devdas Menon, Professor CVR Murthy in IIT Madras, then Professor Ashok Gupta, IIT Delhi, Professor Arvind Kumar Jain, IIT Delhi, Professor TK Datta, IIT Delhi, who have been instrumental in implementing knowledge within me and developing a conference of teaching this course. And I am sure the undergraduate students whom I taught who will also be listening to this video now or later will agree with me that though the exercise was very rigorous to them when it was exposed, but the benefit imposed on them was seriously by and large a very great value. They would have realized that. It's a tough course, I believe. I understand that. I realize it. But I made it and tried to make it as easy as possible so that you don't feel the pain of learning the MATLAB course along with the structural analysis, which was uh, a difficult task for me about 30 years back. That was the idea. And I am sure that partly at least we have achieved this. And I appeal to NBTEL and to the director at Madras to permit me to offer this course in coming semesters as well, because this will enlarge and benefit large amount of audience and uh, all engineers repetitively we take this course and we'll see the benefit of this. So I sincerely thank the NPTEL team, Mr. Magesh and others who are behind and on and off the screen, who are consistently working in NPTEL studios to make this uh, webcast happening systematically, methodically, they manage completely. We don't do anything except giving the lectures. All are done by NPTEL team. Thanks to uh, Professor Jellyhan, the code chairman and uh, Andrew Tangaraj, the vice chairman of code CC Madras and uh, other colleagues who are behind this effort. 
So I would like to thank directly, indirectly all of them for giving me the support and extending this. And I expect that and enjoy, I'll enjoy the support for coming years as well. And I also propagating and uh, marketing this course all over the world. At this moment, currently I'm in Italy. I'm visiting an university. So I am also encouraging and using this tool as teaching tool here. And I have seen in Korea, in Japan, in US, as well as in Italy, in uh, Malaysia, Singapore, I have seen and I am in Thailand, people are using this course, wide and large, in the classrooms. That's what I'm emphasizing again. So let us go back to the classrooms, make students to learn this course as a tool to solve the most complex problems with easy method of understanding. So teachers and friends and researchers make this happen and join me or help me in joining you. And you are the pillar of taking it forward. I am just only an instrumental person to push this on the screen. That's all. So thank you very much. And uh, you can always write to me. My email ID is available. You can write in Twitter as well. This YouTube video is also available to you. You can always see them when you are free. And I am sure that you will uh, take the forward the good ideas what we discussed today. And thank to all the people who have taken pain to join online at this moment and shared your valuable feedback. I respect all of your feedbacks and we'll try to fulfill any lacuna whatever we had in this course in the coming cycles of offer. Thank you very much. Namaste. Jai Hind. Agesh, we can uh, close the session. Sure, sir. Okay, sir. I'll end the session, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jai Thank you. Thank you, sir.